Next, a heavyweight fight between Dustin Joinson and Chris Catala. Now, Dustin Joinson's had a very tough time finding fights, Elias. Yes, but he has one here tonight where he's going to take on a very gamed opponent who's learned from his last defeat and ready to take it to him. It's Chris Catala versus Dustin Joinson next. Uh, my name is Chris Catala. I come from Bauru, São Paulo. My name is Dustin Joinson. I'm a mixed martial artist out of Victoria, BC. I am a faixa preta de jiu-jitsu, second grade, de Jorge Patino Macaco, training Muay Thai and boxe. Got into martial arts as a kid, starting with traditional kung fu, and then switched over to mixed martial arts around the age of 19, 20. I will try to control the octagon well, I'm going to be aggressive, and when I finalize the fight, tanto no chão quanto in pé, de um jeito bem agressivo para sair com a mão erguida. My background would be striking initially, I guess, but I've adapted jiu-jitsu very well into my game. Eu vim do Brasil, são 17 horas de voo, vim de longe, mas eu vim bem treinado. Espero que meu oponente esteja bem treinado para também para a gente poder fazer um grande show. When I step into the ring, look out for my kicks. You won't see them coming. It's gonna end the first round by TKO. Uh, meu oponente chama Dustin. Eu sei que ele é um cara mais alto, mais novo, que tem um estilo também de lutar bem no chão. Então vai ser uma grande luta. This Hard Knocks fight is a professional bout in the heavyweight division. It is brought to you by Calgary Clarion Hotel and Conference Center. And now, let's be the fighters. In the blue corner for Calgary Clarion Hotel and Conference Center. He's two and three as a professional, 38 years old, and stands six feet, four inches tall. He weighed in at 233 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Chris Goldteam from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, Chris Catala. And in the red corner for RA Muscle Power, He's 1-0 and o as a professional, 31 years old, and stands 6 feet, 5 inches tall. He weighed in at 232 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Zuma from Victoria, British Columbia. Please welcome a Hard Knocks fighter, Justin Johnson. This bout will be contested under professional rules. The referee in charge of the Hard Knocks action is Mr. Luke Bhutan. Luke Bhutan will be our referee as Dustin Joinson steps in against Chris Catala. Joinson with just one fight on his record, that a 58 second knockout in his pro debut on the other side of the cage. Chris Catala will look to prove that he's got old man strength as the 38-year-old looks to fight and improve his two and three record. It's gonna be really interesting to see what Dustin comes out being the one that hasn't fought in a very long time. He needs to aggressively there, woof. A spinning head kick there from Dustin Joinson after the first head kick didn't connect, and now a kick to the midsection. Joinson looking to use those long limbs. Expect now, the unexpected, one might say. Catala now coming forward and landing big punches to the midsection of Dustin Joinson. Yes, both men are the, uh, at this moment are trying to put their, their pace on each other, their will on each other. In many ways, even though you have Chris Catala against the cage, he's uppercutting, he's hooking in the body of the opponent, Dustin, who has still Chris Catala against the cage. It's, it's really gonna be interesting what to see what they do from here. Who's gonna be trying to advance the position? In many ways, they're in what's called a 50-50. Both are getting pieces off of each other, but no one, they're but even in regards to who's in a stronger place. Obviously, Chris Catala against the cage, that is a deficit against them. 
Yeah, it's one of the things the judges here in Calgary especially seem to look at. If you've got that position up against the cage and you're trading blows, the cage control of holding your opponent where you want him as opposed to your opponent being where they want to be certainly plays into it when both fighters are getting equal strikes against the cage, which they have been so far. Yes, and, and the other interesting thing is there's a false security, a false uh, sensehood of safety in regards to if you have that almost third leg propping you up, Chris Cattell is allowing himself maybe to hang around there. Joinson and Catella both throwing knees up against the cage, colliding with furiosity as they continue to fight here. And uh, now another knee, and it just looks like Joinson's trying to take away the power base of Catella. If you can't stand on your legs, you can't step into your punches, you can't throw that weight, and those knees are going to start to add up and Katala maybe calling for a low blow there but referee unable to see it with the volume of knees going back and forth it wouldn't have surprised me if either one of these guys had taken a shot there. Yeah it, it did see from both of our vantage points that it did happen but if the ref doesn't see it it doesn't happen. So again Joinson trying to create space up against the cage Katala been very effective in the clinch here and keeping the space again both guys over a six foot four and not a real height difference between them, which is unusual for both of them. Normally when you're fighting, you're not fighting a guy that's six five across the cage. Even finding training partners has gotta be tough. But a nice takedown there from Joinson and even a simple takedown when you've got a guy that weighs 240 pounds landing on top of you, it's gotta hurt a little more. Yes, Chris Catala needs to not allow him to establish a position like that. He needs to get against the cage and use that same, the same safety um, mechanism to allow you to get up. That is a propping opportunity. In many ways, the cage is your home. Um, it, it's, in, like I said, it's almost like a third leg, allowing you to get up and post up from it. Dustin Joinson on top of Chris Catala now, having taken him to the ground, and Johnson doing a good job of staying busy, staying active. Catala a, a decent job of defending, but again, this is what we talked about with position and position adding up to everything, and that was a solid elbow just a moment ago. Yes, Dustin needs to needs to posture up. He obviously has the the space. That, there it goes. Um, and Chris Catala needs to get against the cage. He or hold him down. He needs to get some space. He's trying to attack for something, but in many ways, I think he either it's all the way in or all the way out. There's no in between. It's that uh, that middle ground that's going to get you uh, basically chipped away, and with a heavy weight on top of you, it's going to suck. Yeah, Joinson now again posturing up, landing punches. You can hear advice coming from the corner of Chris Catalu, who lands a nice elbow from the bottom. A little bit of a forearm shiver there, answered from Dustin Joinson, now trying to walk out and does so. Nice work from Chris Catala. Great work from Chris Catala, using the scramble to get into position. At this point, he need, he has the neck of his opponent, Dustin, but he needs to get away from the cage, get some space. Don't allow yourself to get need like that. He's getting too complacent against the cage. You're not really, like you're, you're almost using your knee like he's doing right now to kind of stop some of the attacks of Dustin, but in many ways, they're chipping away. It's not the first one, it's the second one. It, it, in many ways, it rings true, just like in wrestling, where it's not the shoot, it's the reshoot. Same thing with the strike. It's not the first one, it's the second one. If not the second one, it's the third. Blood pouring from the head now of Chris Catala as we reach the end of round number one. A nice knee to the midsection again, answered immediately. An elbow from the at the end of the clinch there. Dustin Joinson looks to take a round one victory over Chris Catala. So this fight will continue. Chris Catala will uh, take a look here across the cage. And he gave his opponent uh, both a wink and a smile as if to let Dustin Joinson know that uh, you might have done some damage, but you haven't ended me yet. And Chris Catala uh, looks to come out and touch gloves with Dustin Joinson. Big smile on his face as uh, he steps across. Um, and, and Joinson will look to do more of the same. He here in round number two. I really like Joyson's uh, basically unorthodox movement, especially for a heavyweight. He's he's throwing teeps, he's throwing punches. Uh, in many ways now at this point, he is kind of watching, but there you go. There's the kick and that really rock. Oh. And Chris Catala is down and out. Stop the clock. This fight is over. Over 
about three different times. It started with the kick, it finished with the right, I believe, or some type of shot, and then the final blow that dropped him where he stood. What a kick from Dustin Joinson, who knocks out Chris Catala. So Chris Catala back on his feet momentarily as uh, he suffers a knockout loss here and we'll get a look at the replay. It was a head kick that staggered him and then a very quick right hand and Catala was out before that last punch happened. What a performance from that man Dustin Joinson. Uh, he, I mean he got his work done. And now for the official results, we'll head inside the cage to Jay Denance. And now the official decision brought to you by Calgary Clarion Hotel and Conference Center. The winner by knockout at 27 seconds of the second round in the right corner, Justin Johnson! Dustin, congratulations. Um, I, I just have to say, you had told us that it had been a long time since you had been in the cage, about three years. How's it feel to be back? Uh, my lungs are burning. I forgot how much that hurt. That feels great. In the first round, you held him up against the cage. Talk about your reasoning for doing so. He's a strong dude, and he was charging, and I was just trying to give myself a second to think and come up with a good game plan for him. Now, it was the head kick that kind of just brought him out, and then it was the follow-up punch that knocked him out. What were your thoughts at that exact moment? I thought, kick him, and then it landed. And then when I saw him drop his hands, I was like, smash him! And then I tried to go the follow-up. Well, that, that, that worked. Okay, so you had some time off, but you're back. Are you back for good? I'll be back, for sure. But I'm going to Disneyland! Woo! Love you, baby. Congratulations, Dustin. Great fight. So Dustin Joinson wins the fight.